Today I have another course that I have no idea where I got it from. I need to start writing this down. Like, got it from YouTube, this person in the comments. Got it from Twitter, this person in the comments. I need to start doing that instead of just writing the name of the course down. But today we have the Grove Tour Edition. It is a par 72, almost a 7,500 yard course. And I haven't played it yet. So I don't know if this is gonna be a course spotlight or maybe a little uh, course feedback video like our last one. Pictures look nice though. Nice vibrant fairways, distinction from the putting surface. It's got that little Augusta feel to it with wood chips. You know, hey, this might be all right. So for those at home playing along, we have all defaults. We're playing the back tees, four pins, firm fairways, firm greens, fast green speed, time of day is afternoon, weather is light cloud. Let's go out to the course. See what we got for the Grove Tour Edition. Here we go. Look from the first tee and yeah, it's got that. I really, 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 really like this. When you have this like clear, clear distinction, like fairway, the light fairways with the darker rough and the darker greens. I, I don't know why I played a couple courses like this. I really just like this just like color palette, I guess, like distinction between everything. I just I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. Planting looks pretty good, too. That's an interesting hole. I'll have to see what that looks like. This is a good plot, though. Got some good dog legs, good use of water, too. I really like the look of this green right here. A little bunker for protection, bunker in the back for protection, surrounded by fairway. It looks pretty good. All right. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, I'm here for it. Is this the, oh yeah, clubhouse back here. Nice little driving range here. I like this, put some bunkers in play too. Got some tennis courts over here. Cool, looks good. Let's see how the golf plays. Tempo don't fail me now, here we go. Let's see what we got. These markers, they're markers, all right. Fairway works back to our favor here to the left. Kind of funnels us in towards the bunkers. But there's some protection on the other side too. Let's see what the greens look like. Tough. Ooh. Brutal, maybe even. Oh my gosh, you have to hit. You have to hit a golf shot here. No, came off way too far right. That's off the green, probably. Yeah, came off way too far right. These are brutal greens. This is a brutal first green. We'll save par though, which is good. Par for the first, onto a par five. Second hole almost right out the gate. Taking out the big stick. Good thing the wind is uh, not at our face because that could be a problem. Yeah, these, dude, these, these greens, these are very brutal. Is it gonna hold? Barely. Okay, hey, here we are. Freaking eagle, huh? Like that. Man, wouldn't it be nice if there was a way, hopefully maybe in the next game, to like get a little bit more just like an easier way to even out, you know, your your cart paths, your rough, 
rough lines, fairway lines, all that. All the splines and everything you have to do. Sometimes it just gets a little, it gets a little tricky. Fasted it. Now wind ain't gonna bring it back enough. Oh, it wasn't even long enough to begin with. At least it's a little bit easier of a green. That'll definitely work. We get to save our par. Here we are. See, like this, this looks nice. I like this. This looks really nice. <laughs> Another nasty green, but... Look of it is really good. Slowed it. Shit. It's not gonna get up the hill. Uh, nope. Oh, it actually held. Okay. <laughs> I didn't give it enough. God dang it. That was actually a really good line, too. That sucks. Still sitting at a two under, though. So this is just personal preference. I don't mind playing courses with greens like this, you know, that are just a little, a little freaking crazy. You know, I don't mind playing courses like this, you know, through once. And the golf here has actually played really well. It's just coming into a, a playing like courses like this over multiple rounds. That's that's what really just kind of kills the fun for me. And I mean, this isn't like I've seen I've seen, I've seen greens, like, just way worse than this. But these greens are definitely probably going to be a turnoff for uh, a lot of people. And they are for me, you know, past, like, a round. Save our par? We did. Two under. Wind's at our back. We're not going to be able to get it up there, but... We'll be able to get it kind of close. I mean, if I didn't fast it. This is going to be rough. Yeah. Light. Heavy. Dang it. You know, like this, it's like a good shot is still a bad shot. It's off the green. Tough. It's a tough putt. It's only eight foot, but <laughs> that's a tough putt. That's a really tough putt. I really like the planting here, though. It's really well done. Trees are laid out nicely too. Oh, red fasted it. Oh, yucky. Yucky. Oh, we're not even going to make it up there. Oh, didn't matter. This tree was right there. We'll be in good position here for a little bit of a splash. I don't think I'm going to... 
I don't think I'm going to chip that. Splash that. I shorted the hell out of it. Oh, and one of the easiest greens of the course so far, and I shorted it for a potential bogey. Never mind. Little ghost break kind of saved us there. T this, 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 touch, touch a ghost break. Touch a ghost break that saved us right there. All right. Oh, it's a drop zone, I think is what's going here. Drop zone, maybe, right here. Which is interesting because, man, if you hit it into the water, that's a bad shot, like a really bad shot. I don't know if that's needed too much, but I, 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 I if that's what it is, it's like a drop zone. I don't mind that idea at all, putting a little drop zone in there, if it works correctly, because sometimes drop zones don't even work correctly in this game, so. I'm thinking that's what it is. Long. Long. Damn it. Ah, I got greedy. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have, because now I'm looking at a bogey, potentially. Hey! bit of a toilet bowl Ooh, we'll take that par save though one under going into uh par five big dog leg huge dog leg to the left here slowed it wind's gonna eat this up even more we might be in a position though where we might still be able to go for this For par five, this is a very nice screen. I like the screen a lot. You, know, you, you calm it down here up towards the hole, but you got a ton of protection uh, around it. Protection back, protection to the right. This is good. From bunker it, which is actually, this should be okay. I mean, it's of course not ideal, but. Whoa! <laughs> we got a really nice kick there. God, these, these greens, man. They are no joke. They're tough. You know, I really, the design of the course though, I I like it a lot. Bunkers are, I think are well-placed. They look good on the on the fairways and around the greens. The, the color palette's really nice. Again, I, I know I said that before, the color palette's really nice for, you know, distinction between green and fairway and rough and light rough, heavy rough. I think that's all good. I really, the planting has been very good. I've enjoyed that very much. For me though, it just comes down to the greens, the greens just become fatiguing. The, the, like the more, the longer I go through the course, like the more fatigue I get from the greens. And that's just a personal preference of mine. That's all, that's not a knock. Cause I mean, whoever designed it is the person who designed it. And you know, they definitely wanted to make uh, for the course, just a little bit more of a, a difficult, uh, a difficult time once you got into the greens, and I can respect that. This is another nice green. I really like this a lot.
Sit. Take it. No growth break. It stayed straight. Stayed straight the whole time. Oh, we're not going to get it to stop. Not with firm. It's one of those holes that I probably should just play off to the center of the green. Go for a putt. I mean, at the end of the day, I guess we still kind of did that. But look, it still just doesn't even hold. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. Those are the things. It's just like, I just get... Uh, the greens... Greens sometimes fatigue me. In this... In this game. From some designs. Like, hit a pretty good shot. Added as much spin. And it still just... Was gone. That's a putt right there, though. Here we go. I do like making those putts, though, on these greens. Play that. Which is gonna be good enough. I mean, maybe if I de loft it. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Faceted, so it's probably definitely gonna be enough now. I didn't roll down that. Oh, come on, game. God, I don't know. Let's see. I should have put the pin in. <laughs> I probably should have put the pin in and played it. I pushed the shit out of that. Oh my God. That was so bad. That was so bad. Oh, I pushed that so bad. Dang it, still ended up fast in it. Does it hold? Should. Yeah, we'll be alright. What are we bringing in? Driver? Oh, three wood actually gets there. To this one by one section that I have to get to. Oh. That's unfortunate. Hit a rock. OB. Not OB. <laughs> I don't even know what this is going to do coming out of here. <laughs> That's a, it's going to be something like that. Get in there. Oh. That would have been a great way to get birdie. That would have been a phenomenal way to get birdie. All right, we're in the home stretch here. We got a par four, par five, par three, and a par four. One thing you got to watch out for, too, designing, in my, in my eyes, is designing a course strictly based on, like, what driver people use. Like that bunker right there. That bunker is there for one reason, and one reason only, and that's if you use a 296 driver. I don't know what to do with this. I got to try to keep it a little right, but right's off the green. Oh, 
Holy hell. Um, I guess we're just gonna hit it up and gonna see if it holds. Hmm, it did not. Do not roll all the way down. If that would have rolled all the way down, I might just alt that forward. <laughs> All right, we got a par five along the water here. Let's see if this slopes down to the right towards the hole. It does. So we got a little to work with here. I think this is gonna be really good. It's gonna hit that slope, and then it's gonna hit this other slope and work its way back towards the hole. Ah, not enough, not enough, not enough. Oh, Jesus, just look at this. Almost in the middle of a red. Like, it is borderline. It's not even gonna be enough. Damn. All right, we get our birdie at least. Moved to two under. Let's see what this part three looks like. Again, looks good. I mean, like just looking at it, this looks really nice. I mean, again, the greens. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna beat a dead horse here. It's the the greens are just, yeah, they they're very fatiguing. But I think that you know, greens. Courses like this are good to have in the game, though, because it is good to play, like, a really tough course every once in a while. Like, a really tough course. You know, not like an unrealistic course, but just like a tough course. I think this is... definitely constitutes as a tough course. Like, these greens are... they're brutal. They're absolutely brutal. I don't know what you're going to do. So again, we're just going to hit it up over here. See if it breaks in down towards the hole. Oh, get in there. Oh, too much slope. Too much speed. Man, that thing was moving. Okay. Hey, we save it at least. Get ourselves a par going into 18. Oh, stay out of the bunker. Oh, we're good. We're good. Buck fitting it all. Or green. Not whole. All right, we got a little bit of a backstop here. Slowed it. <laughs> God dang it. Huge kickback. Hey, we'll take it. All right, we'll take it. That came out. That came out hot. What? Oh, I hate doing it, but I'm going to. I'm chipping out of the bunker. Oh, um, I banana, I bananaed it. Oh, we're gonna end on a bogey. Hopefully, we did. We went out on a bogey. One under par. So that's the Grove. Uh, I would say if you're looking for a, a a difficult experience, at least when you get to the greens, if you're looking for a more difficult course, this is definitely one for you. I liked the the layout of the course. I thought the scenery was really good. The fairways were were planned out. Kind of fell into the trope of just planning for 296 drivers, which I've seen a lot of designers like fall into. You got to just kind of watch out for that and be conscious of it. Like you can you can add in, in bunkers, but not 
when it's like no bunkers, no bunkers, no bunkers, and only at 296. Like that's the only bunker that's on the fairway is right there at 296. Like you need to design it a little bit, a little bit more instead of just designing it for like specific club set. But overall, I mean, the course, it wasn't bad. Again, for me personally, playing courses like this, I just, I tend to not enjoy them as much just because when you get greens that are just orange, red, all over the place, around the hole, like it's nothing but that, it just, it gets really fatiguing. And by the time I'm like halfway done with it, it's like, Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to get off these greens, uh, kind of a feeling. But I mean, if this is something that you're looking for, a little bit more tougher greens, I think this is definitely a course that you should uh, go out and play because it, it played fairly well. It played fairly well, honestly. So go out and give it a shot if you want to. The Grove Tour. But well, thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, if you made it this far and you enjoyed the video, again, make sure to leave a like on the video. Helps the channel out by helping the algorithm, and I'd greatly appreciate you. I hope you have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, though, wherever you are in the world, and I will catch you on the next one.